The newer subdivision in Bonneville County are hoping their land doesn't become Iona land. Tonight, a planning and zoning hearing is being held in Iona, and that's where we find local news 8's Tyler Berg. Tyler, what's up? Iona City Council, as well as Mayor Brad Anderson, have proposed that newer be annexed so that a new 200 home subdivision right next to it also becomes part of Iona. But the developer and the landowners there do not want that. Land grab. Money. The Neelises have lived in this Bonneville County home for more than 40 years. I, I see no value in moving into Iona at all, none whatsoever. They say Iona's mayor and city council have one thing in mind. Money. Money in his bucket and less out of ours. Despite every newer landowner opposing annexation, they say it's being forced. Now, is that an attitude or is that an attitude? Nobody has anything to say about it. This is the way it's going to be, and if you don't like it, well... Pay up and, or get out. We don't do these things here. Just come up and grab somebody's land and restrict everything from them? No. The Neelises say their property value would decrease with livestock restrictions and they'd end up paying more taxes. 30 to 40 percent. And we have a daughter in Iona and she can vouch for what the taxes are. On the other side of the road sits Green Valley Estates, a subdivision developed by Rockwell Homes. If indeed the city of Iona tries to annex Green Valley into their city, uh, we would be in opposition of that. Greg Hansen, vice president of Rockwell Homes, says Iona had its opportunity, but it is long past. As soon as someone moved into the neighborhood, that's not going to work because those individuals moved in under the premise that they would be part of Bonneville County. These folks that live over here in the newer subdivision They've lived here for over, some of them, over 40 years, and they don't want to be annexed into the city of Iona. Hansen fears Iona's actions could create a pattern. I don't think it'll happen, but if it happens, that would then allow the city of Iona to do a forced, a forced annexation here, and then they may go to another subdivision and to the next and to the next. Tonight, the Planning and Zoning Commission motioned that City Council approve the annexation based on state statute. So now it will be up to the City Council to determine if newer and Green Valley estates will become part of Iona. In Iona tonight, I'm Tyler Berg. Thank you, Tyler.